The scariest mm -hmm. time of the year is only 11 days away <laughs> and already something strange happening in neighborhoods along the Gulf Shore and there's one group that's being called to handle it, the Lee County Ghost Hunters. There is 12 of them and their job is to investigate spooky activities. ABC 7 reporter Randy Simon shows us some of the spine chilling evidence that they have found. By day, Honey Archie cuts hair at the Tonic Salon in Fort Myers, but when the blow dryer shuts off right. and the cosmetology tools are put away, by night she becomes a ghost hunter. You heard right, Archie is a leader of the Lee County Ghost Hunters. Their mission is to investigate spooky happenings around the Gulf Shore. We see if there's paranormal activity or sometimes we debunk a place. Um, a lot of times it's just natural occurrences, faulty wiring, that sort of thing. Sometimes even the ghost hunters are stumped. They still can't explain this photograph they took, which appears to be human-like or animal-like. This one, taken at a local cemetery, shows hundreds of orbs, in which some believe are actually ghosts themselves. There was a cemetery that I was in with two other people, and we seen an apparition walk through the cemetery. And that was a little unnerving. This is on the way. Not unnerved, rather excited. Fort Myers Museum manager Helena Finnegan is one of the ghost hunters regular clients. And next Friday, the ghost hunters will be out at the museum checking on this train for the second time in which museum workers believe is haunted. This after several mysterious bell rings or keys jingling were heard. There was an impression by one of the hunters that night that there was a Civil War soldier here on the train. Um, and again, these are things that that's what we want to find out. To find it out, the ghost hunters have all the gadgets and gizmos from infrared cameras to laser thermometers, digital recorders, laser scopes. Ghost hunter Richard Ramsey's favorite. Um, this is an EMF meter. Uh, we use it to uh, detect electrical and magnetic fields. Uh, some people say that um, when a, an apparition starts to manifest, it does create energy, and you, you might be able to pick it up with one of these meters. So the next time you pick up on any spooky feelings, just call on the ghost hunters. Their services are free. In Lee County, Randy Simons, ABC 7 News. Now the ghost hunters allow the public to tag along on some of their investigations. To find out when you can creep along, log on to our website. It's abc-7.com. Once you're there, click on the web watch.